Hello, everyone, and welcome to the bathhouse. Yet another game from the insanely prolific developer Chillizart. And they're a company that I almost feel, like, personally attached to at this point. Those of you who've been watching me for a while know that I played a ton of their games on this channel. And in the past three or four years, they've come out with, I'm not even kidding, like 17 games. They're a team of two brothers from Japan, and... I think they really found their audience with the convenience store. I know that's how I found them. And ever since then, it's been so cool to watch them hone their craft, get better at what they do, and see each game that comes out be a much more refined experience. Now, they're all very short, very cheap, and often center around some kind of workplace horror. Although there are exceptions, the point is, they're these very small, self-contained stories that actually kind of feel almost like a video game version of something you'd read on our No Sleep. Let's see how this compares. Oh! Okay, literally first frame and I'm jump scared. <laughs> what is this? I'm, I'm a little bit embarrassed by that. I'm tired of working at the company. I need to quit the job. And it's not healthy. Quit and go to the countryside. But I don't have that kind of money. Ugh. What is this mess? A flyer? Hmm. This is it. Rent is free if you work at a bathhouse. Yeah, that doesn't sound too good to be true. I'll call them now. Let's move out. I believe that may be our character. Room 203. Gotta bring my stuff first. Ugh. Oh, wow. Now, this game seems to retain the sort of faux VHS low-poly look that the previous games had, but graphically, it's looking so much prettier. Maybe it's because, unlike other games that they've made, uh, this might actually be the first time we're seeing daylight. And so it's really jarring to look at, but look, those reflections in the freshly rained-upon concrete ground... I can hear the crickets and the cicadas and the trees. And it's an overcast day. Ah, this is already winning an award for the prettiest game in the series. I say series. They have some common threads connecting them, but for the most part, uh, they are all self-contained. Uh, now, where am I taking these? Hi. Are you who I need to talk... Two, that was quite an abrupt animation shift. You're, the landlord immediately shuffles over to me, looking like some kind of worm creature, and says, You stink. You should take a bath. After you're done moving your stuff. Okay, I'll get right on that. Jeez, I do not like the way you're looking at me. When he first walked over, I thought he was, like, leaning his head down at the ground or something. Nope, just a hunched over, weird looking dude. Come meet me at the local bathhouse. There's a thing I want to tell you. Yeah, you look like somebody who owns a bathhouse. Here. This is the key to your apartment. Welcome to town. Uh. Now, I've always noted how rude the characters in these games are, but this guy might be breaking the record. Yes, let's enter the apartment and put our box down. Uh, now, okay, so we do still have a scroll wheel inventory, as we did in the previous games. That's one of the ways we've seen these developers improve over time. 
So, for example, it used to be there were no checkpoints. If something went wrong, you'd have to restart the entire game. Now there generally are. It used to be you could only carry one object at a time. Later games expanded to have an inventory system, a simple one like this. And it's little things like that that have made them not not rough around the edges, but I guess less hard to get through. And so they still have that charm without any of the frustration. Let's go and carry up the rest of the boxes. Now, of course, in video game land, I'm always wary of stuff like this, uh, because basically it's going to want me to go back and forth several times, meaning that according to the rule of three, something can change on the third trip. Also, this doesn't seem to be running all that super well. I'll try and make some adjustments, but who knows if we'll actually be able to. Hello, can I get in? Oh, I have to use the key every time. Place you there. See, right now, this is something very, very simple. Something that just about anyone can relate to, moving into a new apartment in a strange place... Uh, watched over by a creepy old landlord who is certainly rude and a little menacing, but hasn't actually done anything wrong yet. In other words, this is all very realistic uneasiness. And if it's anything like previous games, uh, it'll eventually give way to things more paranormal. Or maybe not. The last game that came out earlier this year was uh, The Closing Shift, and that was actually quite a bit more grounded. And in my opinion, it may be one of the scariest games they've done as a result. I mean, you really feel the tension and anxiety that builds over the course of about a week or more in that game. And it's a very real fear of someone is stalking me at work. Which just goes to show that you never really know what direction one of these games is going to take. What is that box right there next to my bedroll? And do we have any back rooms we can enter? Nope, this is the whole apartment. Uh, so do we not even have so much as a bathroom? Well, I guess that's to be expected when rent is free in exchange for work. I wonder if I'm actually getting paid or not. But then it seems my character was desperate to leave his old life behind and... Well, this is the kind of offer that attracts desperate people. What is this back here? We've got a little area to explore, and some of the previous games did have collectibles we could find that were related to, like, supporter content, so maybe we will explore off the beaten path a little bit. Is that a urinal? Because, uh... I'd rather use the bushes behind the building at that point. Uh, there's more proper toilet right here. I mean, the only thing I can distinguish from this is the fact that his head is covered in shadow, but this just sort of makes me think that that's a feature of the person and not where he's standing. Well, great. One of my neighbors is a wanted criminal, I guess. Let's head over to the bathhouse now that we're done packing, or unpacking. It'll probably help to learn the layout of this place if we want to be able to run at a moment's notice. Hello? That sounded like a monkey. Are there any monkeys native to Japan? I actually don't know. Can't get anything from the vending machine. Okay, somehow lowering my resolution has made things so much worse. Hang on. Alright, I've changed some settings around. It looks like it's doing a little bit better in terms of performance on the recording. Uh, it looks a little blurrier to me because now I'm running 1440 on a 4K monitor, but hopefully it looks okay to you. Yeah, these games have never been the best optimized. I do feel that they are getting better with each iteration, but also, these developers are getting more ambitious. The environments are getting larger, the games themselves are getting prettier. Yeah, it's, a, it's usually a good idea in these games to learn all the elements, 
because these games very often have multiple endings. Uh, we've got a padlock here that we can't seem to interact with, and some stuff inside that we may need to mess with. And a payphone right here. And we can't crawl through there. Yeah, these wanted posters are everywhere. That guy, if it is indeed the one from the poster, uh, must have done something pretty bad. <laughs> if only I could read Japanese, I might have some idea what his crime was. Well, no time for that. You gotta report for work. Hello? What is this, some kind of shrine? Look who we have here. The new one, I presume. We welcome you with open arms. And a smile that I can't see because you're in shadow. Uh, maybe you're the wanted one. You're working hard to get the bathhouse running again. Ah, so it's fallen on hard times. Or it's never had good times. I heard. I wouldn't do that if I were you. And what business is it of yours? And besides... I sense a presence following you around. I strongly... Yes, you strongly what? Strongly! <laughs> recommend you get blessed here at my temple. Sure. You are one obedient child. The gods are happy to hear that from you. And another smile. Ah, oh, what is that thing? There. You are protected. For now. Do I have to come back every day or something? Many of these games take place over multiple days, and that's something that I really like because it allows you to settle into a routine so that deviations from that routine become more apparent and stand out. Please come by any time. Any time you feel... strange. Yeah, your smiles that I can't personally see are starting to freak me out just a little bit. The next time you come, you must bring offering. A monetary offering. <laughs> yeah, I was raised Catholic. I know how this works. Or the gods will abandon you. <laughs> okay, well, I don't have any money right now. I'm actually dirt poor. Maybe that's why your little shrine isn't doing so well either, much like the bathhouse. Sorry, I'm just looking to the sides trying to figure out where we go, but... See, uh, when I see that guy, I can't help but think back to another Chiller's Art game I played a while back, uh, called The Caregiver. In that one, too, we had to walk a long route to the house we were working at every night, and along the way, uh, on one of the nights, we encountered a monk who offered to bless us. Ooh, we can go fishing. Uh, sure, let's use the fishing rod, see what we dig up. Now, what did I receive? Some kind of sack? Oh, yeah, that literally is what it's called, just the sack. I wonder what's in it. Or if I'm supposed to put something in it. Wow, I'm not even... I'm a little impressed. I haven't even found the bathhouse yet, but I'm walking around and finding all these pretty environments with things to find and do. It's almost a little bit like uh, the radio station, which actually had uh, some light driving mechanics where we could drive to different locations and find different things that would enable us to get better endings. Oh, but uh, speaking of what I was saying, of the spiritual themes present in these games, yeah, in The Caregiver, there was a monk that could bless us on the way to our job. And in which one was it? I think it was Inanaki Tunnel. We could unlock a chance for a better ending by praying at the different shrines. Oh, I thought these were... Banners against glass doors. Look at that. 
we can actually walk through into here and there's actually some there's actually some fabric physics that's kind of neat uh, if we had walked through the other one we would have been face to face with our weird landlord uh, good thing i walked around that looks like we still have to but at least i'll be prepared this time yeah that makes sense that there's a little bit of a locker room slash changing area right here uh, now that I can see your face, it's so much worse. Ah, so you came. Welcome, welcome. You've seen the flyer, right? Uh, yeah, why do you think I moved into the apartment you were offering? No need to pay the rent. You work at the bathhouse. No rent. Oh, and... There's no shower in your room. Yeah, I kind of took note of that. So you have no choice. If you work here, you can use the bath at the end of every shift. Uh, that doesn't sound so bad. Uh, but I'd feel like you're definitely watching me. Sounds like a deal, huh? <laughs> well, I mean, for free rent... Do I have a choice? <laughs> no! In all caps, yeah, no, 100% chance you're watching me. All right, now. Let's get started right now. See here? Please do all the tasks written on this board. If you have any questions, keep it to yourself. <laughs> it isn't much difficult to run a bathhouse. Good luck. Customers coming. Okay, so what will our responsibilities actually be? Uh, I guess we can dispense different products. Hello? Ah, you want a razor, a towel, and money. Oh, well, probably paying us money. Okay, let's give you a razor, and blah blah blah, a towel, and money. Which I can deposit in here. Excellent, another satisfied customer. Yeah, wow, this is actually a little bit reminiscent of the previous game they made. A 29-year-old woman has been missing from... ...village for the past week. Hang on, hang on. Uh, the missing person is 29-year-old resident. Oh. I guess the signal is a little bit garbled. According to the police, hang on, uh, your towel money. According to the police, she's been missing since she spoke with a woman in her 60s who lives nearby. Looks like customers aren't coming anymore. Press space to take a nap. Now, this is pretty interesting. So here, it's like we kind of have to choose between paying attention to all that background information or doing our job. And the job we're actually doing is sort of reminiscent of the one from... What was that? And how long was I out? Hey, what happened? What was that? I saw something in the sauna room. Can you go check it out for me? Uh, sure. I'm not gonna laugh at your name, either. That's how good of an employee I am. Uh... There's nothing here. Yeah, I didn't see anything. Was there anything? I swear I saw something. This place is giving me the creeps. I'm out of here. Uh, sorry, sir. Enter the boiler room. No, we don't want to do that right now. Or maybe I should investigate? He said he saw something in the sauna. Why is there police tape? It's locked. The lid is locked. It will only open when the water is drained out. But the drain tube is missing. Okay, so we have to be on the lookout for a drain tube. Uh, when I walked in here, I think I heard somebody ring the bell, so we should get up to the front. 
Yeah, so the thought that... Hello, what's this? Uh, maybe these are just different things that I have to clean up. But yeah, as I was saying, uh, now that we have to clean up like this, uh, it's sort of reminiscent of the jobs that we had to do in the convenience store, and much more recently, the closing shift. Filling out orders. I mean, this is obviously a lot more simplified. Did I just see something go around that corner? Or was that just the reflections of the mouse cursor? Uh, whatever. I have to clean up the place. Where do I get materials to do that? From right here? Alright, great. The first day or two in these games is always about... acclimating to the job. I'm just going to assume that these doors are on a timer. Oh, we actually have to swing our broom back and forth. Wow. Now, this really is kind of a spooky place to have the night shift, huh? The way through obscured by the steam, the high ceilings and reflective tiles everywhere, and the constant echo of the water running. And now we have to go through the whole thing with the knowledge that there's something really weird going on in the back. That guy claims he saw something in the sauna. I saw what appears to be police tape over the back door. And meanwhile, there's some mystery container in the middle of the boiler room. Hello? A girl like you is perfect for the offering. Okie dokie! That's a that's quite a thing to just casually drop. And by the way, isn't that the exact same thing we heard on the radio that a 29-year-old woman went missing after talking to someone in her 60s? Uh we can turn on the jukebox, but I'm not going to bother with that for now. I think we should take this opportunity to fully explore the place. Okay, there's a bathroom, uh which I guess we would have to make full use of. Oh, I get it. I guess there's, like, a male and female side. Although it's kind of strange that the locker room itself is right out in the open in one area. Okay. Just sweep, sweep, sweeping the floors. Sweep, sweep, sweeping the floors. Ain't no ghost gonna mess with me. Uh, but maybe one of the two potential murderers here will. This sauna looks nice and cozy. See, I feel like if you have a few people around, this steam will actually make it a more relaxing environment. When I'm home alone, it's just more like a Silent Hill thing. Makes me constantly feel like I can see things out of the corners of my eye. Well, work's done. Let's take a bath. Ah, right here. All right. Oh no. <laughs> I don't like this. We just have to sit here with a fixed view. Everything's behind us, so I'm always going to be looking over my shoulder. It'd be even worse if this mirror were. Duh. That sounded like a bin or something got knocked over. Wait, uh, can I... Can I get up and go investigate? That sounds like wet footsteps. Let me get up! Did I maybe miss something in the mirror? It looks like it does actually reflect to a certain degree, just not my own character. Can I get up, please? I don't feel like taking a shower anymore. Ah! I got. Oh, I just got a literal monkey scare. <laughs> oh, is it my job to go catch that thing now? Oh, it looks like it went into the sauna. Oh, I can't believe how worked up I got over that.
Day two? <laughs> Day two? Are we really not gonna... Oh, I'm a woman. Huh. I was just kind of assuming I was a man. That makes that landlord about 500 times more creepy. Uh, which actually makes sense, considering the themes that were present in uh, the closing shift. Actually... Is that a spy hole? Pull it out. Pull what out? What did I get? What did I get? I don't understand what that was. Was there like some kind of like thread or something that was dangling out of it? That's the only thing I can think of, but where did it go? That definitely looks like somebody could spy on me while I sleep through the adjacent unit. Well, it is day two now, so I guess I just get to work. Who's the next door? 205. And I really can't knock on that? That is so creepy. Why can't I address that now? My friend's still over here? No. Some weird things going on with the lighting over in this direction, too. Well, let's get to work, I suppose. As with previous games, we do have a sprint, but it's not very useful. In these games, it's unlikely that we'll be called upon to run from something, but... Not impossible. It has happened a couple of times, like in the Ghost Train. I think I could actually use a blessing, but I don't have any money. Maybe I can find some? Or maybe I could start stealing from the till. He said next time bring a monetary offering, so either I can find some coins like in other games, or we'll have to wait for our first paycheck, and that's how we'll know to go get blessed. What are you doing? Are you maybe the older woman that was here last night? Well, I guess I can't help you. Customer's coming. Yeah, the gameplay here is very similar to the closing shift, but it's very, very simplified compared to that. I mean, in that, we were, we were like, learning recipes and filling out complicated orders. Hey. Bring me a drink in 15 minutes. Got it? Uh, you're some rich businessman, I suppose. Uh, well, here's your towel. I'll bring you a drink, but I honestly don't know how to tell how long it's been. Is there, like, a clock somewhere? I don't see anything. Maybe we'll just cross that bridge when we come to it. I'm just here to find my earring that I dropped. Jeez. Okay. Now, if the closing shift is anything to go by, we should probably be keeping tabs on who goes in and who comes out. Hello, Samara. Hello, you can come in. Hello? You're barefoot, and it looks like you're soaked in water, and your skin is so dirty. Clean stains on walls? Find out why electric bill is rising. And it looks like the customers aren't coming anymore. Press space to take a nap. Did she ever leave, the one who came to get her earrings? And also, taking a nap doesn't seem like a safe bet right now. Uh, do we even have drinks that we can bring that guy? I think he's going to be pretty mad that we slept through his order. Then again, I don't know if that's a service that we offer. It's been about 15 minutes. Gotta get that man a drink. Um... 
What supernatural ability is this where you can sleep for 15 minutes and wake up on command? All right, here's your drink, jerk. Good girl. Oh, how I'd like to drown you right now. Listen, why do you work here? I have no choice. You always have a choice. You want to work for me? A girl like you could easily make a thousand times of what you make now. Oh, how I'd love to drown you. What do you think? Let's not waste your precious life here. I'm not interested. Pathetic. You think you're more than you're actually worth? Better be careful. I'm being nice here. Yeah, you're a real nice guy. If it wasn't me, you really will have no choice. Yeah, get out of here. Walk your way out. Friggin' Patrick Bateman up in here. Really want to make sure you leave and you don't just hide in the bathroom or something. And people like that rarely take rejection in stride. Okay, now we gotta find out why the electric bill is rising. That's probably gonna be something in the boiler room, right? Uh, but I also want to head over to the other side and see if that woman... The lights are off. Gotta figure out a way to get it working again. Do I get a flashlight? No, there's just barely enough ambient light. Well, I probably have to go back to the boiler room. Now, did this get shut off because the landlord didn't want to pay the bill, or... Did it get shut off because that guy went and flipped a switch? Oh, I can't see back here. I think that's the sauna anyway. No, it's completely pitch black. I, I can't do this. So no ambient light back there. There's got to be a flashlight or something that we can find. Or maybe we have to step outside, but that's not good. That guy went out there. I kind of don't want to leave knowing he's out there. Uh, maybe there's something back here we can do? No, this only has access to its own sauna. I think I'm just going to have to do it. Oh, the power lines are down. Well, there's nothing more I can do here, then. You can't possibly expect me to pursue this on my own, can you? Seriously? This is so far outside the scope of anything anyone but an electrician should be doing? Oh, I can't access it anyway. These lights are on. Maybe if I knock on this guy's door? <laughs> Is there even a front door? I tried the one around the back and it didn't work. Oh, we just have to use the front windows, I guess. Well, you still have power. Maybe you can help me with this. And it looks like your supply is a little barren. Makes sense that the economy around here would be struggling. You don't look like the type who can afford things. <laughs> well, neither do you, given the state of this store. Oh, wait, you were around before, weren't you? That name, Denko. These appliances, they're my babies. Feel free to take a look. Just one thing. Absolutely no bartering. You hear me? Okay. Well, can I take that from you? What do you think you're doing? So I guess I have to distract you somehow. That's video game logic, right? <laughs> I'm actually about to start committing crimes for the sake of this sleazy boss just so I can get my stupid free rent. 
Well, <laughs> anytime I think of it like that, it becomes a lot easier to justify the things I'm about to do. Press it! What are you doing? It was an accident. Didn't mean to. Yep, 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 yep. Just uh, wasn't watching where I was leaning, you know? Alright, now let's restore the power. Even though technically leaving it off is accomplishing the job of figuring out why the electric bill is so high. There we are. And let's continue with cleaning up the place. Uh, the stains are on the walls today. Man, how does a bathhouse get dirty? I mean, I understand it certainly needs a lot of cleaning, I'm sure, to prevent all kinds of bacterial buildup and fungal infections. But still, these people seem to be like setting off firecrackers on the tiles. Seems there's no stains in the main floor, just in the bathhouse areas. Was that just a lighting bug, or was that something I was actually meant to notice? Hi. I didn't notice you before. You're not a regular stain. And it's not coming out. That looks like the little girl. The one that came to the door before, who, come to think of it, was all soaking wet. Did something happen here? That's my current theory. Unfortunately, I now have to take yet another bath, and I have to do it directly in the line of sight of that very strange stain that wasn't there before. Did we ever do anything about the monkey? I can't believe I forgot about that. Oh, the steam and the film grain almost make it look like you're moving ever so slightly. Come on. There we go. You heard that whispering, right? I mean, with the timing, I guess it could almost be mistaken for the sound of the water, but... Wait. Was it coming from here? Oh, I guess we take the shower and then we take a full bath. Yeah, I mean, this seems... I was going to say, this seems like a relaxing environment, but... Who are you? Ma'am, we're closed! Oh, there's... Get out! Get out! Get out! Why do I not have control during these segments? Did I really just finish my bath? Oh, that was a really well done scare, though. Because look, we get in the bath, we're sitting there, we're kind of enjoying the environment, even though we know something weird is afoot. And it's waiting on us to just glance over at the door and notice. And then she hides around the corner, we're intently staring, waiting for her to come back. And then she pops up right in the water in front of us. That was so good. Uh, we were off to a bit of a slow start, but that's how these games often are, and they're all the better for it. Uh, this is starting to feel almost like an old-style commentary now. I'm starting to really get into it. Uh, well now... Now we probably just go home, right? We have nothing else to do. Yeah, our tasks are accomplished. Wait, did we check the other bathroom? Okay, so that mystery remains unsolved. 
I am so wary of these curtains, you would not believe. Every time we enter a new side of the building, we have to push blindly forward. Apparently we don't have hands because we just let it lay across our face until the very moment we're all the way through. So if there's... What is that? Oh, a bird. Hey, what have you got there? What have you got? Is that money? I want that money. Can we maybe find something to get that down? We can enter the trash area, no problem. Ah, oh, this is very much like a puzzle in the radio station. There's gotta be... I'm not going home yet. There's gotta be something we can do to get that from you. And we always want to pursue all these avenues because we want to make sure we get a good ending. You know what? Screw it. Adventure game logic. Let's use the sack. Maybe we can catch a pet crow. There's got to be something we can do. Can't get to there. I can't quite make out what that is in there in the dark. It looks like some kind of like metal pipe or something all twisted. There's got to be something we can do. Can we grab anything from here? No. I just keep thinking there's got to be something we can do to get that crow to drop the... I, I assume it's money. Hello. Why are all these... Why are all these faucets running? I'm glad I didn't go home. Or am I? Is he praying for me? Did I just get a bad ending? No, night three. So what all happened? Pull it out. Yes, yeah, it's, it's some kind of string that keeps getting pushed through the wall or something. What is that about? And we missed the chance with that crow. If there's anything to do with it, I might have to figure that out on a second playthrough. Somebody just peeking from around the corner, or is that just poppin'? Oh, this is starting to make me paranoid. One of my neighbors is a wanted man. Another is a creep. And one of them, well, seems to think I would make some sort of good offering. Between the three of them, I'm not sure which I should be more worried about. And on top of all that, there's a weird ghost girl stalking me at work. What's that in the road? Oh, poor monkey. Can I pick you up? Now oh, the crow is gone. I really hope I didn't miss my chance to do something with that. So, after whatever happened there, the men's area is sealed off. But why? I, I just can't understand what was going on there. The monk was praying outside. I heard a scream from the back, but... Did I just go home after that? Uh, hello. <laughs> you kind of dropped the blinds on your friend there. Uh, give me shampoo. Okay, shampoo, shampoo, shampoo. And a towel. And money. Didn't I give you a towel? Is that the new girl? Hmm. I suspect that 29-year-old woman who went missing also worked the same position. Oh, I thought somebody was leaning around the corner. It was just the fan. Chilipin! <laughs> Chilateke's Believer. <laughs> Oh, is there a whole religion around Shilla's art that's been formed? Hey, you there. Why the glum face? You need help. 
but you're all right now. You are all loved by Chilatekes. <laughs> you know, this is, this is sort of like one of the customers in uh, the closing shift. That guy who came in and just started showing us his rad dance moves. The fact that you're here with me is proof of that. I give you this. The spirit of Chilatekekes. Chikakekes? I can't say that. Keep it with you, and you'll be full of vitality. Chilatekes? Chilapin! <laughs> Chilatekes is always with us. Some call him God, but properly we call him Chilatekes. I see. I guess I'll take it. Well then, that'll be 100,000 yen. I was just gonna say, this is usually the part where they ask for money. What? I don't have that kind of money. Huh. Chilabin. Careful, girl, before Chilatekes abandon you. Chilabin. Chilabin. Eh, yeah, that's right, you walk on out of here. <laughs> Freaking scam artist. I guess I'm already a follower of whatever religion that monk was. Hello? Eight. One. Two. What was that? Eight, one, two. We gotta remember that. Eight, one, two. And I guess we work here for a few weeks longer then? Or maybe 20 minutes. That girl seems odd. Yeah, 20 minutes seems more likely. A girl like you is perfect for the offering. You're... You're the second little old lady that's told me that, but where's your friend? On the list, it says to go get baking soda from the local candy store. Why the candy store? Wait, no, 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 no. Where was your friend? Was I just not paying attention? Did the other one leave before you? Each of these days so far, we've seen someone walk into the women's room and not come out. Maybe I'm just blind because there was a bunch of things going on, but that doesn't seem right. Now that stain is still there. Well, I guess we're going to the candy store. Where's the candy store? And is nobody going to pick up this poor monkey? Hello, who are you? I don't like the look of any single person in this entire game. Hey, nice to meet you. You want a potato? See, this is the kind of things society should be striving towards. Just a potato cart that drives down the road loudly announcing itself, and if you say hi, you get a potato. Sure, I'll take one. Thank you for considering. However... We have a policy of asking a few potato questions to give you the right one to eat. This is Bizarro World. This game does not take place in any sort of reality. Sometimes I think that maybe there's certain cultural references that I'm not understanding, and then there's stuff like this. Where do sweet potatoes grow? Uh... I don't know. Dirt? Correct. When do you harvest them? Dude, I don't know. Summer? Wrong. You are not only a disgrace to all potato eaters of the world, but also to the whole human race. Come back and try again. I, I was just trying to go get some baking soda. All right, can we try again right now? Ah, oh, we can. Sure, I'd like one. Okay, autumn. Do sweet potatoes bloom flowers? No, I guess they do. <sighs> okay, but remember, we gotta remember, 812. 
What do they look like? Dude, I don't know. You seem to know your potatoes very well. Yeah, well, you let me trial and error my way through that entire thing. How many interactions like this do you have a night? Now for the final question. What is the best way to eat a sweet potato? Well, baked, preferably. Well, well. You have proven worthy to my cream of the crop potatoes. Here it is. Enjoy it. But don't eat too fast. Savor it. Well, I don't seem to have the option of eating it, but perhaps I can use it for a puzzle. Uh, if only that crow were here, I would know just what to do. That was really weird, just turning down this foggy street, hearing that echoing chant, and a lone figure standing in the middle. Not the interaction I was expecting from that, to be sure. This must be the candy store, since it's the only other light on on the street, besides the appliance store. This place, also not super well stocked. I wonder where here I would go to find some baking soda? Uh, maybe I just have to talk to the clerk. You look like a ghoulie. Young lady? You have beautiful eyes. Mind if I take a closer look? Is everyone here a mutant or a weirdo? Sure. Sorry. I can't help it when I see such... glistening pear. You look like someone who might want to take it for yourself. Oh, that was uncomfortable. Uh, well, I just want some baking soda. You don't mind if I just walk around behind the counter, do you? You have a locked chest in the back, which I suppose I can access at a certain point if I figure out what it is I'm doing here. Uh, about the missing cat poster, which I didn't actually see. Tamachan. If you find her, I can give you a special gift. Okay, well, this is an adventure game, and I have infinite time to do my job, so of course I'm going to go rescue a kitty. Where is that missing cat poster? Uh, the candy store cat. Oh, cute little black one with nice yellow eyes. Okay, gotta save kitty. Uh, did Kitty do this? I'm thinking now, a black cat might be sort of difficult to find during the middle of the night like this. <coughs> Kitty? Kitty, I'll protect you from the bad man. <coughs> Kitty? <coughs> Kitty? <coughs> you must be close. <coughs> Kitty, meow. <coughs> Oh, uh, wow, it really does work like that. Sorry. Hello, kitty. Hi. Come here. <laughs> Look, just carrying you front facing forwards. Oh, that is adorable. I love that animation. Oh, kitty. Come on, kitty. Let's get you home. There's all kinds of weirdos out here tonight. You don't want to be wandering around all alone. Here you go. Is this your cat? Tamachan, welcome back. Thank you, young man. <laughs> now for the gift. I made it specially for you. Take good care of it, will you? Ah, and we got a key and a Japanese doll. Now what key? Chest key. And we can see what's in here. Maybe... We can give up the doll as an offering to the ghost. <laughs> and that is how we get the baking soda. What a bizarre adventure game chain of events. These games were kind of on a trend of getting more grounded. And here, it seems like we're sort of combining more grounded scares of creeps and weirdos with a more paranormal element. 
But this whole last quest line has just been pure Looney Tunes. Well, let's start cleaning, I guess. We can't access this side. But how do we start cleaning if we can't access that side of the building? That's where the tools are. Um... I just threw the doll in the trash by accident. That's probably not a good thing, right? That's probably... I probably just did a bad, and I can't get it back. I'm just trying everything on everything right now, because it's clear we're going full adventure game logic. Alright, well, it happened. We gotta live with it. Hello, what is wrong with this one? I guess that's just supposed to be... a representation of the fact that it's dirty? That startled me yet again. We really can't clean that stain, huh? Which leads me to believe that she died here. Alright, work's done. Take a bath, even though horrifying things have happened two out of two times I've tried to do that. What a night. Well, I got my lucky sweet potato, I guess. Although, I probably should have kept the doll. That seemed pretty short. Is there something wrong with the water? I'm nervous now because I know there are certain things that it'll, it'll wait for me to... No notice. Does it look like there's somebody standing in the bath behind? Ah! Take a sauna? Are we really gonna just gloss over that? How can you do that? I have the most oblivious character in the universe. I, I can't even call her oblivious because she just... Ugh. She noticed all of this and just goes about her day like nothing's happened. Not even going to bring any of this up to the landlord? I mean, I can understand he's not someone to confide in. But God, this game really does lull you into a false sense of security with its comedy and adventure game elements. And then it just hits you with these like blink and you'll miss it like heart attack scares. Oh, that's a nice view. You're not concerned about that otherworldly droning? Uh, just continue doing what I do. Oh my god! Jesus! What view is this? What view is this? I can feel my teeth vibrating. What, 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 what are we looking at right now, game? What are we looking at? That's one of the little old ladies from before, standing considerably more upright. That might be the biggest scare I've ever gotten from a Chillis Art game. That's not one of the endings. We just went on home like nothing happened. I'm just gonna keep pulling this rope, whatever this thing... What was that? Uh, I've been asking that a lot the past few minutes, jeez. That might honestly... See, these scares might seem a little bit haphazard, but that might actually be some ingenious pacing that we just witnessed, because... It set us off on this whole, like, wacky, goofy series of quests to rescue a cat and answer the Potato Man's potato questions. And then after all that, we sit down and it hits us with a couple of subtle scares and then that. Ugh. Before I leave this room, I'm taking a sip of water because, geez. All right, continuing on. Never figured out what to do with the sack or my lucky sweet potato. And I threw that gift for me in the trash, which... 
I mean, I could do it. Great, now we have to walk to work in the rain. That's actually been a common thread with a lot of these games, is we actually have to walk to work. And so the whole time that tension builds, you kind of have to walk there with the anxiety of what's going to happen today. Most of them do it, but I think the two that did it the best were the convenience store and the caregiver. Because we had to walk all across town, basically in the dark with all these blind corners all over the place. Oh, she's crying. This is the only picture I have of her. Who's the girl in the picture? She's my granddaughter. She... I think I get the picture. Are you the one we saw placing... placing that little memorial in front of the bathhouse the other day? Well, we now have a human living link to the person. Maybe we can do something with that. We can't enter the store during the day, we just have to go to work. See, I'm trying to be thorough. I know there's a lot that I'm missing. There was certainly something we could have done with that crow. I just wish I knew what it was. I think I am going to have to do a second playthrough, but typically it's very quick to get through these games once you know what you're doing. Body soap and shampoo, please. Okay, uh, body soap, and shampoo, and a towel, and I'll take your money. There we go, and just like the closing shift, I am now proficient at this job. I guess a boy can go in there if they're, like, with a parent or something, and they're below a certain age. Uh, now what, is, what, are, what does our task list say? Unclog drains and refill toilet paper. Oh, that doesn't have me going on any weird quests with crazy old people. Oh, the kid ran out. Um, should I... Should I... Hey, uh, Mom. Uh, your kid's getting into some stuff. That doesn't sound good. He ran out of there. Hey, you alright? My hand. Someone help me. What happened? What happened to your hand? Uh, do I have to get you, like, a band-aid or something? Uh, where are we keeping medical supplies and such? Where did she go? Oh, there's a first aid kit here. So, she's gone. He came running out of here, uh, apparently injured. Alright, let's help you out and you tell me what happened. Uh, you look okay. Whatever it is, it can't be that bad. Uh, it still hurts. Ah, oh, mother. She forced my hand in the fan. This fan? I didn't see her come out with you. What did you do? I can't believe you hurt my son. I'm never coming back here ever again. That's not my recollection of events, and that's not what he's saying either. She had disappeared, but he believes that his mother did it. Does the ghost maybe take the form of other people? Who's there? Ah. Easy there. Thank God someone came. You were here the other day, right? I've ran out of toilet paper. Could you bring me some? You're a guy. Wait. Do I know you? You sound familiar, yeah. That's a very helpful name tag down there. Uh... 
No, you don't. Just bring me the paper. I remember the name, but I don't remember who you were. And what are you doing in the women's room? Now we might have a creep on our hands. Alright, uh, where are we keeping toilet paper these days? Maybe over here? No. Maybe in the back, in the boiler room. You know what? I bet the drain tube is the object that's in the other room. And I just got a really terrible idea. Maybe if this thing is full of water, the body of that girl is contained in here. And the landlord is keeping her there. Oh, it's up here. Yeah, that's annoying. Some of the some of the things I've had to do have been a little bit annoying taking me out of it because I have to spend a long time trying to figure out what I'm supposed to do. You saved my life. Oh. And it's very dry now. Uh. Uh. Oh. There we go. Oh, that was what that was what we needed to hear. Hi. Uh, yeah, you're the guy from day one. Yeah, you get on out of here. Run out of here, your walk of shame. Well, now it's time to clean up. And this, I do know how to find. Now, it told me we had to unclog the drains. So, let's just see which of these need doing. And finish our chores. And dreading the fact that we all know that once everyone's gone home, that's when the creepy things start happening. Man, that is so unnerving. He said his mother forced his hand into the fan. We didn't see anyone run out with him, but where did she go during that time? We saw them both go back in together. Unless maybe... Maybe from his point of view, he didn't come in with her? Now, there's a few ways to take that, and all of them are pretty disturbing. But that all implies, like, a certain element of malice. This isn't a ghost that, like, just wants something to be set right. I mean, she went out of her way to hurt a little boy. I think his name, like, literally translates to little boy or something like that. Well, let's take a bath. Oh, that stain is gone. Or at least I can't see it. There she is! What are you gonna do? I know you're not waiting for me to look away! Does my character just have some, like, neurological condition where she doesn't get jump-scared? Even if you don't plan on moving, even if you're too scared to move, how do you not fly off the seat? You were placed there because it knew I was going to be looking around after seeing that stain not there. Why am I just continuing while you're there staring? Yeah, you get down there and you stay down there. I'm out. You want me to go to investigate? And the doors are locked, so I have no choice. What have you in store for me? Oh, look at that corpse floating to the surface. Yeah. That one was just so plainly telegraphed it was impossible to get me with it! But this is a little different! Have I been pulled into your mirror world? Do I have to hide back here? What do I do? Can I just leave? I could try to just leave. Let me out. The hair is too thick. Her stringy hair is 
down over the front doors. To the boiler room. That's... No. It's here, too. What do I have to find for you? Uh, maybe... Uh, can I offer you a potato in this trying time? Oh, I should have kept the gun. Oh! I think I just got the bad ending. I think I was spared a jump scare because that thing was in the way. Oh, in the end, it actually saved me. Oh, that's me dead. Missing person. Mayna Akamura. My sister hasn't been in touch with me. She said she was depressed and quitting her job. I heard she was going to this place up in the mountain to work at a bathhouse. She isn't answering my calls, but maybe she's busy. I'm worried for her. I should check up on her. I'm going to her place for a night to talk to her. No, don't do that. And now we're her sister, picking up where she left off. This must be our mother. Hey, Irina? You okay? You don't look so good. I'm sure your sister's alright. I'm sure she's just struggling right now. That's all. Arena. If you need any help, call me. Okay? Thanks, Maho. Now, good luck. Your sister's waiting. I should go check my sister's room. Now, could I have done something differently? If I had had the doll, could I have given it to her? Uh, that really feels like a moment where paths diverge. Because we don't have any of our items anymore. We're playing as a completely different person. Looks like she's not home. Ugh. You're my sister. Uh, you're looking at me like I'm fresh meat. Welcome, welcome. You said my sister works here? Oh, yes, yes, she does. However, she's on a trip with a few friends at the moment. You're blatantly lying to me. She should be back in less than a week. Can I stay here and wait for her? Why, of course. Oh, but the rooms don't have baths. It's a custom for the residents to use the bathhouse. Right. A custom. Do you want to work here while you wait for your sister? What do you say? You can stay here for free if you do. Sure. Sounds like fun. If I can stay for free. Uh, this sister is a little bit less savvy than the other. Wonderful. Let's start from today, shall we? And don't worry about not knowing what to do. It isn't difficult to run a bathhouse. The same speech you've given a million times before. This is the apartment that I think had the hole that looks onto the other apartment. Also, I think there's a problem with your roof. Even for free, I don't think this is tolerable. Yeah, right here. This is not livable. It would actually be better to sleep outside the awning. So what do I do now? I guess just go down to the bathhouse and start my job again. Now that lucky sweet potato didn't do me any good whatsoever. I can already tell I'm going to have to do another playthrough. The only thing is, I don't know what I would have done differently for that crow. 
Maybe if I'd stopped by and given an offering, but I never had any money. You're back. Hmm. There's actually a lot of elements going on here, and I feel like it might take me a couple playthroughs to learn all the ins and outs. I've done a lot of exploring, but I haven't found much that way. Wash towels and get more something for the boiler, more wood for the boiler. You're the guy, and all you want is a towel. I don't like the look of you, but maybe you're a red herring? I actually can't put it away. I guess I'm just pocketing it then. Hello? Towel? And there you go. Maybe that 5 yen is just meant to be a tip? Wait. Sis? Is that you? No. Not a chance. Not a chance! We know that this ghost has a thing for mimicry! Shoe locker, it's missing the key. No, there's far more we can do here. Maybe I should call Mom. Oh, but we can't. Hey, you want cash? Do you accept cash for whatever that thing is? No, wait, that might be the key to the locker? Uh, it's kind of hard to see what it is. Let's go leave an offering. Maybe that's what we can do. It completely breaks the flow of the game. But we can do it. Now the monk isn't here anymore. Throw in the coin? Yes. It's an Omikuji box. Let's pull on it. I'm not familiar with what this is. And we get whatever this is. A piece of a newspaper. Alright, we can enter the boiler room, but... At this point, I think I'm just going to see what this is. That's uh, probably... Yeah, what do we do here? What is this? The bath is cold? This isn't the cold bath, is it? You're the woman who came in before. Did you see my sister? What? I'm the only one here. I don't care about your sister. It was a question, jeez. I just want to take a nice hot bath here. I can't believe it. I paid for this, you know? Ugh. Sorry, the boiler isn't working at the moment. Also, it's raining inside here as well. Well, go fix it then. I'll be waiting in the sauna until then. And we have another customer. Hello, little old lady. You don't have much time. You shouldn't be here. Wait. Whoa, wait, wait, where are you? Well, that was weird. See, it's presenting me with so many opportunities to do side things, but I don't know what any of it is. It's all so abstract. Uh, where do I get wood for the boiler? Maybe from the appliance store? No, right here. Uh, that's not enough. Need more wood. Okay, uh, where do we get more wood? Maybe we can find some outside, or maybe we can get it from the appliance store. Maybe I can find some through here. Feels like it shouldn't be all that hard to find wood in the woods. Here we go. Yeah, firewood. We can just take that. You may take all the wood you need. Now that's public service. I didn't expect scavenging for firewood to be part of my duties of running a bathhouse. Place you in another boiler. 
Still not enough, huh? Probably got to get two more. Uh, it's doing that thing again where it makes me make multiple trips where anything can happen. One more, which means something happening on the way back is quite likely. The heating system is working now. I should go tell the lady. Yeah, let's go see how she's doing. I have a feeling she's not going to be here when I get back. She went into the sauna. And we have some unwashed towels still to wash. I'll just place those here, maybe? No? I actually don't know where we wash these. That's my sister. Sis! I was looking for you. I... Wait! I don't know how she could have possibly gotten past me, but... Off she goes. Now where would she have gone? Clearly she's trying to lead me somewhere. Maybe to the back room. Where I suspect little ghost girl's body is hidden. No. Maybe I'm meant to believe that she ran back to the apartment. Man, I get such bad vibes from that boiler room. I really do have a feeling that's going to be where this whole thing concludes. That's got to be the heart of what we're trying to get to. We can't go in here either. So she's just gone. Either our sister is trying to reach out to us, or the ghost is taunting us with her. Apartment key 203! I was just walking around trying to figure out how to wash the towels, which I still don't know how to do. We can go investigate her apartment. But how do I wash the towels? I'm a little bit worried for what we're going to find in here. It's the doll. The one we threw away. And here we can collect the sweet potato. Everything's been deposited back here. And the calendar covered in that thick hair. Along with newspaper piece B. And the doll who is now blood-soaked and wide-eyed. That's what it's been the whole time. The hair of the ghost girl pouring through from the neighboring apartment. Wait, no. There's things we can do. There's things we can do now. We have options. First, uh... Okay, newspaper piece A and B. Uh, we can't combine them. But what happens if we go into our own apartment now? Nothing. No sign of what's being pushed through. But... I have an idea. I'm going to try taking the sweet potato over to the crow. <laughs> Sorry, sister. I've got adventure games to play. Running off into the night, the pouring rain, to deliver a yam to a crow, or a sweet potato, sorry, to unlock a bunch of doors, find the crown, save the town, and Mr. Krabs. Off you go. Locker key. Which will enable us to open that. Oh, it's all coming together. Shoe locker. Inside we find the trash key. Which we can use to open this. 
open this, get the drain tube, which we can use to run back, go through there, drain whatever's in that container. I think we're about to discover a corpse. This is it. I hope we're not opening up Al Capone's vault here. Uh, we've still got that stack of towels, too. <laughs> we can still clean that stack of towels. But what's inside? Oh, we can't look? Oh. That was literally all just so we could wash the towels? Huh, this really is Al Capone's vault. Work's done. Take a bath. And it saves right there. I'm starting to think that maybe this right here is where paths diverge. We'd get maybe a bad ending had we just investigated the lump on the floor right away. But we can do things differently now. I hope this is the good ending. There were so many things I feel could have been done differently, though. Like, what would have happened had I not thrown the doll in the trash? Or does it even matter? I feel like such a bad person. That sweet little old lady told me she made it herself just for me. There's been a lot of creepy, rude people around here, but she, her, she was a little bit eccentric, but she was sweet. And she had a sweet little kitty. I always forget to turn on the shower. Hey! Here we are now. Five. Five minutes. Five minutes to do what? Five minutes to do what? To do our chores? Yes. Uh, bath bowl? Yeah. Uh, bath stool? Uh, here? Oh no. Oh no, this is just like the end of convenience store. Oh, what is this? What is this? This all goes back here, right? We gotta stock the shelves? Do we just put anything down anywhere? Does it matter? Bath stools, bath stools, bath stools. Bath stools, bath stools. No, that's not right. Uh, we have more time than I think. We just place these down wherever, right? No, no. There's a, there's a method to the madness. There's a way to do this. None of this is right, is it? Oh, uh, I just don't know. You each have to go down in front of a mirror. You're in a wrong spot. Uh... But how do I know where each of these things goes? Oh, it's a memory game. I can't do these. I wasn't even paying attention to this aspect of anything. Rubber ducky, no. Wait, no. So it makes sense, rubber duck, to go here, right? But the little odds and ends, I'll never remember that. Oh, I don't know what else to do. Where else to put it? Maybe it's got to be the one that I always use, right? It's got to be. Which I guess would be this one, but what else do I need? I've taken everything off of this table. No, it's just got to be a matter of where to place this with relation to us. Maybe we place this in the tub we used. See, I don't know what any of this means. It's just, it, this is all stuff I wasn't even looking at. Maybe place that right there, the body wash. Yeah, body wash right here. Rubber ducky in there, because that's where I took a bath. And all this right here. Or maybe I need to set it all up for you? I don't know. See, that's the thing. I don't even know exactly what it wants. Right here? I'm just going to have to wait for you to wind down, because I, I don't know what it is you want. I've just realized the door to the boiler room isn't even here. Yeah, I, I don't know what else I could possibly do. Everything I've set up seems to make sense to me. I 
huge friggin' firefly just flew in front of my screen. Is this game cursed for real? Wow. I feel like I'm actually about to get killed by this ghost for not remembering proper bathhouse layout. Yep, just kill me. Power out. There you are. I have your doll. Take it. Yeah. Kill me. Run to the apartment. Oh, there's more. Oh, I don't think anything I did just now was right. Oh, come on. Fight away! I died. Jeez, you can't just spring a memory game on me. I have the worst memory in the world. All right, let's take inventory now since we know what to expect. Okay, so one, two, three, fourth mirror, right? Which I think is what we were doing before. Seat here, two of you here, and a seat two down from there. All right, let's do this. Maybe we'll be able to see more from here. Okay, so bowls here, seat here. Other than that, like looking around, I'm not sure what it is it wants me to remember. Hi. Oh no, now it's just straight run to the apartment. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 It's an actual chase. It's an actual chase. Run, 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 run. Oh, it looks like she's crawling towards us. Oh, all Japanese ghosts are the same. Run, run, run. But to which apartment? 203 or 205? And I can't even tell which key I'm holding. Come on, come on, come on. Yes. Oh! I was literally a horror movie protagonist fumbling for my keys. Ah, oh, but in the red, I couldn't see which was which. All right, run, 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 run. I have trial and error on my side, and me and Creepy Doll, we're gonna do great things together. It seems like we can't enter apartment 203. We have to enter 205. Enter yes. Even with the light on, it's pitch dark in here. No. No! Jump scare imminent. I was expecting it and it still made me skip a beat. We're being carried away. But those are some very heavy footsteps for the ghost of a little girl. Looks like we're being carried all the way down back to the bathhouse. I must once again refer to the fact that I do not trust my landlord in the slightest. What's happening? I've been placed in the furnace.
That's the end? Okay, that took a very strange turn. So it seems like the owner of the bathhouse is for whatever reason, like, maybe killing and burning the women who work for him. But then, what's his relationship with the ghost? I mean, it seems like it killed him in the end. But why? And how did he know that I would be dead? How does he do this? I, I, there's so many things that aren't making sense to me right now. I got the bad ending. Okay, well then how do I get the good ending? I can continue, so I'm gonna assume that that's where paths diverge, right? And that my opportunity to change things comes here? I never figured out what the deal was with the newspaper clippings. Or with the doll. Wait. I another doll? <laughs> that might be a bug or an oversight, but... Check underneath the tatami? We have to. Oh, there's more. Newspaper C and Yoko's diary. A woman in her 20s went missing from a public bathhouse. An unemployed woman, Yoko in Inakubo, 29, who went out alone to a public bathhouse was reported to the police station by a neighbor that she hadn't been home. The police searched for her since the m morning of January 10th, but didn't find her. Something is written on the back. In death thesis. In, so in something, something, something. Well, that's useful. Yoko's diary. Why do they hate me so much? Everyone is talking behind my back, and yes, I do hear that sound from the other apartment. Ignoring me whenever I spoke to them. What did I ever do to them? Everything in my life went downhill until I met him. At the temple. He cared for me. He loves me. He said we need to keep this relationship a secret. Why keep it a secret? All I want is for him to stay close to me. I'm happy as long as I can be with him. So maybe one of the previous occupants, maybe the landlord's first victim, stayed here and had a relationship with the monk up at the temple? And maybe that's why he was, like, standing behind the guy before, or maybe they're both in on it, I don't know. That ending was so abstract, I honestly have no idea what happened. So, now that we found that diary, I think that's every loose end tied up. We completed the newspaper, although we still have a missing newspaper C in our inventory, which, again, may be an oversight or a bug. Can we maybe leave this offering around here somewhere? Since the monk apparently has something to do with her. What is all this? What would we place here? I gotta figure out what it says. It's like something inside death. Ashes, maybe? Uh, but there's not going to be anything we can do with the, with the boilers right now. Oh, we can interact. Tongues. Yeah, it was telling us to look inside the boilers. Yeah, let's search inside. We found something. A key. A key to the back room, I bet. Oh, this is fascinating. I'm so curious to learn what we're going to see back here. That landlord clearly doesn't want the employees coming back here. Are these all ash piles? How long has he been at this? Let's have a quick look around, make sure we see everything. There's a hatch! Oh, the plot thickens so! 
I want to search around every side just so that I can make sure that we saw everything. All right, there was nothing around either side. Let's go. What secrets is the landlord hiding from us? What do we do? Can we crawl through here? Ah, C to crouch. That's the first time we've used that control in this game. What is this? Chains? The landlord's diary. I'm scared. I don't want to die. If I hadn't helped that monk with... She had a beautiful face. Oh, wow! He should have let her live. Did he say I'm cursed? It's his fault. He said the curse would kill me if I didn't bring a woman to work here. I don't know if it's true, but it's pretty tough out here in the countryside. I don't want to die. I'll think of a better way. Oh, wow, the story had thrown up so many red herrings. My suspicion was in so many different ways, least of all the monk. <laughs> Checklist. Oh, wow, is he a subscriber to the dentist system? Make her fall in love with you. Make her pregnant. Kill her before she gives birth to a child. She had a boy. I thought I killed her before she gave birth. Oh, th did that just slip your mind? Did a little oopsie there? Kill her son, which she did not do, said hold off. Lock her in the bathhouse. Trick her into sacrificing a woman of her choice. Sacrifice the first one, the second one, the third one. I'm the third one. So this hasn't been going on for all that long. The previous one, I guess, must have been the granddaughter, followed by my sister, and then me. The first one must be Yoko. Uh, get a bolt cutter. Gonna want that, of course. And the summoning of Abumi. Sacrifice a human chosen by the cursed deceased. Then you will be released. However, it must be the blood of three women. Either that's true or... The monk is basically a serial killer who's... Okay, I won't walk into the dark! God! Or the monk is basically a serial killer who's manipulating the landlord into doing his business for him. Because it seems like Yoko, uh, the first victim, had a relationship with the monk. Alright, what if we just decide to wade into the darkness? There you are. We're meant to free you. Yes. Come on, you're free. Or am I just meant to leave? Oh, look at you. Alright, well, you're free. What you do with that is up to you. Maybe I really do just have to take a bath now? Doesn't seem right. This is actually what I was meant to do, then I am the most- Yep, there we go. Uh, I'm gonna have to go back and do that all again, aren't I? Run to the apartment? Yeah, we don't even get the chance to play the memory game again. Go. 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 Maybe we'll get a better ending this time. Oh, uh, why are you still chasing me? I freed you! Or at least I think I did. It's kind of hard to keep track of who's who around here. Oh, what am I carrying the bolt cutters for? 205. 205 is what I need. Yes, get in.
that's a different ending. So was I still burned? Or is this me being deposited outside? Rescued? The ghost's water putting out the boiler. And the boiler's fire consuming the bathhouse. When I woke up, I was lying in a hospital bed. Beside me were the doctor and a police officer. The doctor said, You have a full body fracture. Please tell me what happened. I was taken to the hospital in an ambulance. I immediately understood the situation. <laughs> you did? Because I didn't. And told the policeman everything that had happened. The policeman looked troubled and said, No one should live in that village. I told the policeman, What? And a lot of repeating dialogue here. The people I met. What happened to them? I tried to clear my confused head. Before I passed out, I think I saw an old lady walking toward me. I wonder if she was the one who called the ambulance. If it had not been for her, I would have been engulfed in flames. No. I would have died before she arrived because those two were trying to kill me. The monk and the landlord. They wanted to sacrifice me to that ghost. It was the man in the basement who burned them. Who could it be? He disappeared right after that. I have no idea where he went. Is the ghost Yoko? I'm sure it must be. Poor thing. Why did I go to that place? How could I have gone to that place when there was nothing there? What did I have to do there? Why was I working in a public bathhouse? What was the reason? I can't remember. Why? Why did I... Did I leave something important there? Who's Mena? That's a chilling thing to end on. So it's like the whole thing was never there and all memories of it, including those who have gone there, have just been erased. Wow, that was crazy. There's so many different layers to what's going on here and I'm having a hard time making sense of it all. So the monk manipulated the landlord into luring women here so that he could kill them thinking that he would die if he didn't sacrifice three of them. But then, what was the deal with- it said the man chained up in the basement. I would have assumed that was the first person- or no, that must have been the son. The one that the first woman gave birth to. But then, there's that whole other paranormal aspect of the whole place not really being there, which totally came out of left field at the end. I, I wonder if some of these things are issues with translation, but... In any case, that was a totally nuts experience. I'm gonna have a lot to say about this, but I'm gonna hold it until the end of the credits, so that I can gather my thoughts without worrying about all this. Although, I am gonna wait until the end, so that all these people can get some screen time. But suffice to say, I really enjoyed that. It had some rough edges that I'm going to talk about. But overall, I think it was a very effective and scary game. Now, there's not even an English localization credit listed there. This might literally have all been done through Google Translate.
And that's us with the good ending. So that was the bathhouse. And I was a little hot and cold on this one all the way through. There were all sorts of red herrings and things that could be misinterpreted and characters and events that it, it really kept me guessing all throughout. And I was a little disappointed by how confused I was by the bad ending. But I'm really glad that they placed the save right there so that I could just come back and write everything then. I didn't have to replay the entire game in order to get things that I missed. The village was also really nice looking graphically. I mean, like I said before, I think this might be the first time we've actually seen daylight in a Chilizard game. I'm not sure about that, but that might be a first. And the town just looks so beautiful. But the environment of the bathhouse itself was brilliant for horror. It's this lonesome and honestly sort of relaxing space. I mean, that's what it's meant to be. But it's so full of that steam and fog, and the whole time there's the sound of dripping water and what may be some other sounds hidden amongst that. We had all those elements in the bathhouse rooms themselves, those darkened saunas out to the sides and that mysterious boiler room that kept beckoning my attention. Meanwhile, at the front, you had those blinds that you had to walk through so you could never see where you're going. And even when you were in those front rooms, there were all these blind corners. You couldn't really see what anyone was doing past the front desk. And so I was always looking around thinking, okay, where'd that guy go? What about this one? And that's that actually plays in a lot to the misdirection because it introduced all these characters and I just kept thinking like, which one of them is the killer? Which one of them is the killer? And then it just blindsided me with like the one that I didn't suspect which is the monk in cahoots with the landlord, and the landlord is actually the subservient one. But all of that, the environments and the excitement to learn what's going on here, played into what we're really here for, which is the scares. And this might be, I mean, I always want to give high praise to the closing shift, but this might be the Chilizark game that scared me the most. Every single scare in the game got me so good. It, it was unbelievable. Even the ones where I was pretty sure I knew it was coming still got me. I think it was the perfect balance of subtle, wait a minute, that's not right type of scares and big jump scares. I think they all came at just the perfect time. There were those times where we'd be taking a bath and we knew how vulnerable we were going to be. And so we'd be constantly looking over our shoulder, and it would just be waiting for us to notice. And some of those things weren't even accompanied by a scare cord. Then there was that one girl-shaped stain that just wouldn't come out. And that was a great way of integrating the scares with the job mechanics that we were doing every day. I think my favorite less overt scare was the one with the little boy, because it's just such a mind screw. Little boy comes in with his mom comes running around the corner, alone, and then claims that he hurt his hand in the fan. And then we go and get the first aid kit, find the mother nowhere to be found, and then she comes back, obviously angry that apparently I hurt him in her mind, and he says that it was his mother that did it. And so there was something really horrifying and sinister going on there. But we were only witnessing the periphery of it. That was a very well done sequence and super inspired. Now onto the criticisms. My only real problem with this is that with all that misdirection, with all these extra items and stuff, with especially like the supporter sacks and all that, I spent a lot of time like running around trying to figure out what all these things would do because I knew there were multiple endings and I didn't want to miss anything. I mean, I still don't know if things changed because I placed that doll in the trash by accident. Now, I understand that part of that is my own doing and not the developer's fault. I didn't have to do all that running around during objectives. But the game is set up that way to make you think you have to do those things. And that combined with having to accomplish some tasks without actually telling me how to do those things or where certain items could be found. It killed the pacing a little bit and it was annoying. What saved it in the end was how excited I was 
Once all of those previous elements finally started coming together and doing so in rapid succession, leading to a very creepy and informative climax that really brought it all back around for me and is the reason why I'm leaving with a very positive impression of this game. And if you like this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more creepy and comfy content. If you have any ideas for other videos you think I should do, the best place to suggest that will be at the Discord, which I will link in the description. If you want to try this game out for yourself, that link will also be in the description. And if you want to see the other games from this developer that I played, that link will too be in the description. Uh, but enough outro. I will see you in the next one. Oh yeah, the one thing we never got back was the sack. So what do we do with this? That's the other thing we never learned. Okay, so we hang the sack on here. Oh, uh, this might not have anything to do with the, uh, with the puzzles. This might be all the supporters.